I should say at the onset that I have named myself the unofficial City of Hope beekeeper. <laughs> Beekeeping kind of started during the pandemic. We needed a tree trimmed at our house. There was a bee colony inside of it. The conversation started about, hmm, could I repurpose those bees? Now my neighbor and I have 10 hives in our apiary, 11 with the new City of Hope rescue. <laughs> I didn't respect bees as much as I do now. Bees, I've learned, are ubiquitous. They're everywhere. <laughs> and they're essential for human life. Is that bee still bugging me? If I get stung by a bee, that's gonna be a crack up. We've been studying uh, a gene, ERIC5B. This gene appears to be involved in the inherited risk to B cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, the number one cancer amongst pediatric patients. This gene is evolutionarily conserved all the way from people dogs, cats, down to bees. Variations in how this gene is controlled in honeybees may also be important for cancer. Also, the major protein or peptide component of bee venom has been used to inhibit triple negative breast cancer cells in an in vitro system. Bees are very important in a little known aspect of medicine called apitherapy, where bee sting therapy is used to treat individuals that have arthritis, for example. I think it's a responsibility we have as humans to understand the real world, and often it will help patients. In the future, if we look at other organisms like bees, we perhaps will be able to go from bees to bedside and help more people. Yes!